welcome to the Green Room on Casting Workbook. I'm Natasha Gargiulo. Ordinary Angels is a film that reminds us of the good in life. It's a feel-good movie based on the incredible true story of a hairdresser who rallies an entire community to help a widowed father save the life of his critically ill daughter. It stars Academy Award winner Hilary Swank, who shares why making this film was so important to her. certainly love a real-life character, especially when it's like almost stranger and more beautiful than fiction. You know, a lot of the roles that I've played and chosen to play fall into that category, and Sharon is definitely one of them. I mean, just to think that what she gave from her heart and uh, just, like, the work ethic that she had to get to the finish line is so inspiring. As I was looking at the true story and looking at the real people, I feel like there's a responsibility and an obligation to tell their story in a way that honors their life. And because I've done a number of true stories, I take that responsibility very seriously. To work with someone who's written a script can sometimes be really challenging because they're so married to their words and what it sounds like and the cadence. And that can be challenging because, of course, if you want to switch anything up or switch the cadence, it can fall on the ears of someone who's lived with it for a long time. And yet he's written it and he just has such trust in his actors saying, I give this over to you, you're embodying it and you'll know what feels right. I was so excited about Hilary Swank. You know, you get your hopes up when you're in the casting process and you know, when her name came up and when I heard that she was possibly interested, I was kind of holding my breath, hoping it would all happen. I have genuinely been such a big fan of hers for so long. A um, Million Dollar Baby is a movie that I've seen many times and really love. Um, and The Gift and Boys Don't Cry, a lot of her work that I'd seen, and some of her earlier films that aren't as well known, that where she's very funny and she's very always honest and complex. And so Sharon needed to be someone who could be funny and strange and beautiful and sad and all of those things together. And I said that to her right away. I was like, I've seen all of these notes and flavors and tones in your work but not all in the same role. The, the room that John gives us to play in the play box and to have fun and to mix it up is, is one in which has made working with all of the actors just a, a real gift and a lot of fun. It's a miracle just to be able to continue to do what I love. I love being a storyteller and I knew I wanted to be an actor since I was eight years old and that I'm now 47 and still living that dream, it's a blessing on blessings um, and probably a miracle.